Hey everybody, I'm Adam Harry with Larry Bella. We're from Bella Souls, and today we have the new chapter approved 2019 edition. Everyone has been waiting for it. And oh, what's this second book here? The Munitorum Field Guide. They did it. They took the super good idea yes. that they did from the General's Handbook 2019 from Age of Sigmar, and they have brought it over to 40k. Yep. Uh, real quick, we're not going to go through this book uh, too much. It's all the points. So right. it's just literally it's, pages and pages of points. The important point is what's the page count on it? Uh, 50? Yeah. 56 pages. Yeah. yeah. 56 50, pages. 56 pages of just points. It is points for, let's show the table of contents. Yeah. It's points for everything in the game and the important part let's just take a couple minutes and talk about this first and then we'll go into the main sure, book sure. so uh this is their new philosophy here on these books so this book is all you need this has all the points for everything in the game and we mean currently yes yeah current currently in the game and we mean everything so all the war gear is in there all the codexes are in there all the weird units um uh, from like uh, like from Blackstone Fortress and all those weird and like the Rogue Trader army right. list, so all the weird funky stuff. Everything from Forge World is, is in here. So and they specifically say in, uh, all the units are in here, all the war gear is in here. Basically, you don't need to flip back and forth now between yep. between. Um, it doesn't have stats. Just we're talking just correct. Points. It's just, just points. it's just points. But they specifically say also like as of the you know basically imagine yeah. this is a snapshot in time. This is everything in the game that is to be used for match play. Yeah, let me, let me read this section yeah, real yeah, quick. Yeah, read that section. Uh, just this couple sentences here. The points values in this book cover all the units and warrior options that, at the time of printing, are supported for match play. It does not include points for Legends units. The rules for these venerable models can be found on the Warhammer Community website. Therefore, if you're, if you're wondering about those models, if basically, if there aren't points in this book for those models... They are, they are no longer supported. supported for match play. Yeah, so this book also, as you would assume, uh, this book and chapter approved, because a lot of people have were wondering, is Legends going to be in here? There is no mention of them whatsoever. Legends is... Just, just that little book exactly. right there. Yeah, so it's going to be a... It is a different thing that will be supported um, on, on the, the Warhammer, Warhammer Community, community site. Yep. So you will only be able to tell what Legends are via this book by omission. If they're not in here, yep. then by definition they must be Legends. And there are certainly units that were in the last one that are not in here anymore. Yeah. So they've already started pulling units from here. Yeah. So that's just FYI. Um, and there yeah. you go. And like I said, everything is in here. Yes, 54 pages just of points. Boom. That one's... Okay, let's talk about what's actually in the chapter proof beside points. So here's the table O contents here. And it's really weird... Uh, it's kind of like a white dwarf format. Like white dwarf format. Yeah. <laughs> it's not at all it's the different. normal... It's new. They're trying some new yeah, stuff. It's cool. Um, what you'll find in here in this book too uh, a lot, and I think I think we have yeah. There's no there's not another normal uh, in air quotes table, table content. Nope, that's here. it. That's this it. is it. So it's again 106 pages, probably a little bit more than that. Yep. But um, this book basically has a whole lot of cool stuff for open and air to play. And there's some match play stuff just for completeness at yeah. the end of it. Fortification, all the fortifications yeah, yeah, yeah. are in there. Some data sheets. Uh, specifically, all the yeah. different types of terrain yeah. are in there as well because those kind of float around in lots right. of different books so they put them all together. If you're looking for new rules, however, there those are not like like uh, match play rules. Or there like, is uh, there is a two page section. We'll show it to you when we reach the yeah. match play where they basically get all the stuff that has been in like the big facts, right? Big important things, and it's all just on two pages. Yeah, I, I'm saying there's no like major game change. Like there's there's nothing new. Right. Correct. Right. So yes. if you were expecting like oh this book's gonna come out and it'll be ninth edition, nah, no, no, yeah, not that's at all. not how this no. works. Uh, so yeah, open play cards, uh, linked games, the. Uh, what I'm really curious about too is the the, the kind of new ways to play. Yeah. And we'll kind of go through here. Again, yeah. We're not going to go page by page. But we're going to show you some around. cool stuff. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, uh, we have new ways to play. Yeah. Uh, narrative goes over it again real quick. Narrative matched uh, yeah. open play. You get the idea. Yeah. And so uh, they're going to talk a little bit about open war cards. Uh, these are the cards. Uh, uh, yeah. That let you just kind of play pickup games. And there's two to three pages where they're going to show you different ways to use yeah. this deck of cards to build all kinds of things. On some I like of them, this too. On drafting. some of them, it's just drafting. On some of them, um, I'm going to skip a couple pages over uh, uh, On some of them, uh, the cards are secret. On some of them, the cards yeah. are public. There's there's different ways of Different ways to use the, 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 the open war cards. The open war army generator, this is a really funky concept. This is a concept of like, if you and your opponent want to, they have all these, uh, uh, all these tables back here mm -hmm. where you can basically use dice to completely randomize 
uh, your opposing forces, and then you basically pick the units. But basically, it picks. Wow. You use this chart to be like, I can defeat you with my randomized Necrons versus what do you want to play? Blood Angels. Then you both roll, and you're like, oh, man, okay, cool. I have, like, these yeah. types of units to build my army, and you have those. And then you go build your lists. Yeah. So, it's again, it's just so it's like a challenge mode kind of yeah. way of doing it. Uh, we head over into narrative play. On narrative play, they have um, a whole bunch of different ways to uh, emphasize uh, battles that emphasize lots of vehicles. So yeah. if you want to do like, well, let's do like, you know, everyone at some point during their 40k career is like, I want to put all my tanks on the board and have a big giant tank game. I want a tank these, battle. Right, these are special rules to support yeah. like lots of tanks and big monsters. You can do that. You get you get a lots new, of uh, narrative missions and stuff right, like that. Right, to, they, to they, support vehicles. They also have for, stratagems and stuff to use for vehicle-based battles. Um, linked games. This is cool. This, this is, is my favorite. Th yeah, this is the thing everyone has been. Everyone tries to do this at some point. Now you actually get a formal set, set, set of rules. This gives you a framework that lets you build linked narrative games that combine in various ways: kill team, 40k, and apocalypse. Yes, that makes sense. Yes. So it tells you how to it's do kind of it. Kind a dream. Yeah, and then it gives you like, here's an example where here's your setup, here's the here's the narrative background. Yeah. Then you're going to start with a kill team game, then you're going to advance to 40k, and then you're going to finish with an apocalypse game. And yeah. then on this one, you're going to do your kill team first, then you're going to go to apocalypse, and you're going to finish with a 40k game. It just kind of gives you up the a, a general yeah. framework of, of how to do it yeah. in, in a way so you're not going to have everyone saying, it'd be cool if we could do this, and then no one actually does yeah. the work. And, and there's a couple of and different a of versions of that, yeah. again. Uh, this is my other favorite section. This is the parallel battle section. And this basically says, if you like the link scenarios before, why not run them at the same time? Essentially. Oh sure. So you have your kill team game going on the same time as your apocalypse game going, right? Just kind of keep and then well, you, your but your kill team game can influence the oh, okay. stuff going on. Right. I actually did this before this was a, a thing. I did this like 15 years ago. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. The whole idea they actually have the mission I did, which is kind of weird and cool. But it's death from above. Basically, a kill team mission is going on where the kill teams are trying to take over an orbital relay for a, a orbital orbital oh, bombardment sure. relay. Sure. And if you take it over, you can then fire it onto right. the table cool. uh, type of stuff. So uh, you play through the mission, and then it can impact the, the apocalypse. And you get different types of scenarios, which okay. is just really rad. Uh, so if you're looking for new ways to do it. Uh, challenge missions, these are throwbacks to the old uh, yeah. attacker defender missions in older versions of the game. This is a set of missions that's specifically designed to be... Uh, these are unbalanced missions. These are asymmetrical games. Yeah, so this is where one guy, you know, you're playing the Battle of the Alamo here. You know, yeah. one guy is going to have an overwhelming force and the other guy isn't, and you're getting points for holding out. You know, yeah. it's not about whether you're going to lose. It's like, hey, I made it to turn five. I'm the badass. Right. You know, now you try to beat my record. They, and, you know, in, in funnily enough, GW actually uh, mentioned running this as kind of like a club Kind of one with bragging rights with the leaderboard. Oh sure, absolutely. So like, yep. hey, in our club, I made, I made, and they actually have a rating system, one to five stars. Right. I made it to five stars in the Allo mission, Larry. How'd you do? Oh, right. I got, I got, I got three, but I'm gonna go again. And sure. like, okay, cool. And then yeah. you can kind of see, yeah. you know, it's how just, everybody it's, doing it's a, there. It's again, Games Workshop. All of these things is like, you yeah. know, the game is much bigger than just I have two thousand points versus right. your random two thousand points. The last yeah. And they actually tell you, again, if you make it to round seven... Oh, wow, you get the five stars. Yeah, yeah I like five that. stars. I got five stars. What about you? No. I like, I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, and games like this, if you've never... If, if you've only kind of played the game in, yeah. the, in the era of just exactly matched armies playing, you know, you know, in, in competitive formats, games like this are super, super fun. You Not should definitely that, try them. You, you, you literally create the story, the narrative, yeah. as it were, and you'll be telling that story for years. Oh, oh man, I can't believe... Remember that game I made to, to turn five seven. star turn seven because that one sergeant kept making his yep. three up save that was amazing oh yeah, yeah. and you'll you know it, it'll keep coming up yeah so and there's a bunch of these. bunch of these yeah okay uh, now we reach the match play section yeah uh, the match play section the by first the way, thing by the way look at that artwork that's just that that's is just cool that is pretty good dark angels are just porn guy anyway sorry All right. distracted by pretty. Okay, so uh, this is your two pages of just this is basically all of the of the new rules that are from the from the big fac and yep. from the main rulebook fac. All those things are now for people who aren't keeping track of the facts and all that stuff. Right. It's just here they all are printed, so everything is together in right. one place. Right. So you have it. It's like hey, by the way, when you're playing match play missions, you know this is Don't how Battle Brothers about works tactical now. Tactical reserves, yeah. tactical restraint. Yeah, so every, your prepared positions bonus. Now. Which means all those rules are now official. 
Right. Because remember, like, how all those things were like, it's a beta, whatever. Well, so yeah, now it's they, like. Even if they said they were official, right. now they're printed in a book yeah. and you can. Yeah. You so don't have this, to have the internet. Yeah. So <laughs> these two pages, these these are all of the new rules that affect Match Point. Right. Which are not new, but now they're, you know, yeah. all in one place and official. Uh, you get a bunch of new missions that yep. they recommend for Match Play. We're not going to go through all those, but there's a bunch of them. Um, cool artwork again. Uh, more missions. More These strategy. are the Mails from War mission type yep. stuff. Yep, we're going to go skip through those. Uh, there is an appendix. So over the last year, there have been a lot of yeah. units that have come out a la carte. Yes. Uh, that don't have codexes. The codexes have not been redone, so the only data faxes yes. are either online or they came in the instructions with the models. Right, right, So right. all of those have been collected, and they're, and they're in here. It's mostly uh, Chaos Demon stuff. It's mostly yeah. all the units that came out with... Um, with... Um, uh, when the Slanesh came out, right. all those units came out. So Celeste, Celeste. Uh, especially Hellbane, yeah. right in front in Rapture. So all the Slanesh stuff is out there, and then there's a little bit of the corn of of yeah. uh, whores and the corn stuff that came out from the uh, from Wrath and Rapture. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So because because those units were up, updated. updated so, yeah. so, so this is the new data sheet. Yeah, updated. It's basically, all the a la carte kind of orphan yeah. units have been collected together, and then for completeness, at the very end of the book, you get the big giant index of all of the fortifications yep. all updated and cleaned up uh, in one place and then the last four, pa four several pages of the book is they put all of the new terrain together that they've made yep. over the that that with is current their and, rules and yeah, how they work that is current and legal so now right. you don't again have to go hunting for those uh, they've done this in the previous yep. two chapter approved so this is just the, the pattern that. is continuing except it, it, it again has the newest stuff so yep. all your terrain rules all in one place Yep. Uh, you know that combined, and uh, so yeah, 110, 112 pages. But yeah, that's pretty much everything in the uh, chapter approved book, and of course the Minotaur Field Guide. There you go. This is the big, huge, giant one. Again, we are going to be writing and talking about these all next week. Yeah. Uh, so well, if you're watching this in the future, all well, in the yes. past, then yes. so whatever. Yeah. But the point is, uh, you buy these as a pair as well. So yeah. yeah. They shrink wrap together. Shrink wrap together. So shrink wrap together. And the, again, yeah. such an improvement. The Munitorum guide oh. is so easy. Yeah. Now there's no more flipping back through like four yeah. different books to try to figure out. It's just it's all in there. Here's your points. Here's the cool new stuff. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, that's it for the chapter proof 2019 edition. I'm Adam Herring. And I'm Larry. We're from Bell Lost Souls. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>